We're getting into a new arc. The tournament arc is coming back. And the highlight of this is going to be steeplechase. Which means uh, something that the kids shouldn't be doing. Because there's going to be military bots that's going to be assassinating the kids. No, it's not going to be like that. But it's going to be like a really hard event that normally students would, wouldn't be doing. And the Patriarch Kudo is realizing that this could be a great opportunity to kind of use the students as lab rats to test the fucking their parasite bots it looks like he's getting ready for the next stage of whatever uh, meta they have because we want to remove the humans from the military by producing these parasite bots to replace them and then there's some other stuff going on Miami looking hot as usual let's begin today's reaction uh patriarch son and mr chinese tea guy okay. wow. Wait, does his son know that Kudo has complete surveillance here or not? I, is he being spied on or not? Head of the Kuki family, I don't know who the Kuki family is, bro. Based on are we allowed to just let this happen, sounds like we are spying secretly. Casualties? High school students? Fuck them. Nah, fuck them. <laughs> Let them <'em> die. <laughs> you know this is not gonna happen. Like, the fact that you're telling me there's security measures, so that's a, there's a limit, so that it can't go crazy. Like, you know something's gonna override it, and enemy Jesus Christ, you know, Onisama's gonna come in and save the day. Nah, I doubt it. Limit her off, bro. Limit her off. <laughs> I think it's gonna get affected. What the fuck is this loyalty programming? Well, mechanics so that they cannot, they can't disobey, but nah, nah, nah. There's gonna be a way. Even if you tell me all these different mechanics, there's definitely gonna be a way, some way to override the limiter. And if not, there's gonna be some other threat that's gonna be threatening the students. And then only Sama comes in and clutches as usual. Identify as an enemy. Armed? Armed with what? Oh, Onisama? 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 So this is Kuro's intention. Yes, the dead Yotsuba Milf. All part of his plan. What about Minoru though? Last episode, your grandchild, Minoru. You said Minoru is like, no one can compete with Minoru in the magical capabilities, but Onisama, you know, Kuro does glaze up Onisama. I wonder who he sides more with. Like, do you think he fanboys over Onisama or Minoru more? Maybe Minoru because grandchild, but Miyuki. Cute sandwich, Achan. Achan needs more fucking screen time, bro. I love Achan. Erika fucking up girls. <laughs> this girl ain't listening. Her head is just like, oh, he's so dreamy. Okay, we're, pre we're, pre we're preparing for the tournament arc. Okay, okay. That's the fucking ice thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What? Onisama typing on a keyboard? Wow, he's so handsome. Back at home. Miyuki wearing something nice for us? You're looking pretty tired. <laughs> Thank you is enough to make her blush like that. Come over here. Hi. Hi, Hi Onisama. <laughs> this poor girl. This poor girl has to see this entire every fucking day. <laughs> Incest cock. <laughs> that feels bad. The average Japanese siblings, bro. <laughs> From who? Anonymous? B. Yeah. Someone super high up. Battleboard, speed shooting, crab ball. Uh, this is just the lineup of the uh, events. We got sent leaked documentation for the lineup. 
それだけじゃない。Oh, they... Everything has a little bit of a thing. Oh, this, this, this is just fucking probably Patriot Kudo, right? He's sending this shit. He's just having Kevin only some heads up, probably? Because he wants to see only some pop off and test the bots too, so I'm gonna assume it's from them? Maybe? I don't know. Ashi. Bald ninja dude. Shisho. Fucking hotbox in the place. Kudo mo zivun abunai koto kangai ta mono da ne. Shinheki no se no shiken o kona o. But apparently only only sama would be considered a threat. He's definitely not sane. Pi heki to you fucho made wa wakatte irun da. Pi weapon. Parasite weapon. Te irun da ro kedo. Shousa ga jofo nigiri tsubushite iru to. Nikaku. Uh, more yapping about the stuff that we know from before about making Kazuma make his move. Ancient magic users only. What? New building? Have we been here before? Oh. No, this is where we the Kudo was for the Parasite Doll experimentation. Okay. Like a little field trip, a little field trip, train, train sandwiches. Oh, he's not coming with us. Maybe he's just hanging out at the temple. We're gonna share the same bed? Oh, he's not coming <laughs> Too late for a young girl to be out. You got a curfew, Miyuki. Yes. Yes. Have you not been watching this show since season one? You don't think, oh, Unisama and nutting at your fucking sibling. You don't think that's immoral? Ah, a little bit of incest is fine. Miyuki is an immoral younger sister. It's gonna be today's title. Absolutely. Bad girl. So like the parasite robots, they're only girls. There's no male models. <laughs> Just an army of waifus. I mean, I'm down. Will any of them become sentient actually? What if like the parasite dolls? Become like sentient and start to like think for themselves. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? And then suddenly, like Onisama is able to like raise them. Well, Honoka was able to use her magic and sync with the uh, pixie, right? Wonder if Honoka would be important in today's arc. Who knows? Hi. Oh, our cousins. Hmm. She really looking like a Yotsuba man. It's the hairstyle. Looking like Maya. Exactly. We can trust the Kuruba, right? It's not like we need to be discreet around them? Oh. Okay, therefore. You might accidentally clash with Onisama? Is that what you're implying? I don't get it. Okay. As in, relay it off to Onisama, let him assess it? No way! I would have never thought parasite dolls are parasites. She flexing? She flexing on us right now? Alright, you're kind of cool. Alright. Ayako kind of nuts? I mean... Twin brother. That whole entire aesthetic, you know, the vibes I get, you know, like spies, right? right. I know Lunar Magic Ocultus, but this is different. Another email. Oh, we're in the 
It was from that building, right? The fuck? Some kind of defense measure? I don't know. Alright, we going back home, I think. Oh, really? It's a Yotsuba hotel? Nah, you did this intentionally, didn't you? Real? Oh! So the whole scene with Ayako kind of flexing and then the dad consoling her, saying like, Miss Miyuki, your powers are meant for different things. Basically, she feels insecure because Ayako was a lot more helpful in this current arc and getting more parasite information while Miyuki was just fucking eating sandwiches on the train and, and fucking around in the hotel. And she feels like she's less than Ayako right now in providing value for Onisama, but we know Miyuki's built different. Yeah, is there actually something more that implies just like Onisama being useful to Onisama, but like the head of the Yotsuba? It, it, was, was that implied there? Are they like competing? Succession war? I don't know. Didn't Auntie Mia Maya sorry already kind of like set Miyuki to be on the throne? I don't know. Anyways, there's a little bit of rivalry. I think that it's more about providing value for Onisama regarding the parasites. Yo, monk, that was a little sussy. Oh. Uh, the Chinese tea guy was talking about. Yes, exactly. Which skeleton dude? Pre-event party hall. If, if George, no, Georgie shows himself. Fuck you, George, you piece of shit. Where are you, George? Show yourself. Uh, Modi. <laughs> Am I supposed to start liking Modi Saki more? Is this his redemption arc? Fuck him. You know, last arc, <laughs> last season one. Remember the terrorist? The terrorist, you know, basically collapsed the building of Modi Saki. <laughs> Dude, that was great. That was fucking great. And let Onisama get in the battle. Also, put Modi Saki out for the remainder of season and season two. I hope the parasite dolls fuck him up this this arc, bro. Steeple chase, you know? Take out Morisaki. Who are you? Ah, they're just it's just intricacies. Ah, so this is what he looks like when he doesn't cross dress. I like him when he cross dresses. Fumia Ayako. They're acting like they never met. Hello, nice to meet you for the first time. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you want a little bit of this? You want a little bit of uh, fucking what is it called? Regrowth? <laughs> Love how they're like putting up an act like they don't know each other. Fuck you, George! Get the fuck out of my face, Cardinal Pr Cardinal F no, 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 Cardinal Prince is Crimson. No, 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 Crimson Prince. Right? That's him. That's him. George's uh, title was Cardinal George. Yeah, it's just Cardinal George. You're always in demand, bro. Steeple chase. Great. Military involvement. Let's fucking go. I mean, this arc is called Steeple Chase, but no one can see Steeple Chase. Re no vision? Oh, that's a little bit lame. I like when tournament arcs. Um, my favorite thing is the audience's reaction to what's happening. Like everyone needs to be seeing it, right? It's like a hype finale. You know, the camera's on and something crazy happened. It just and then we just go boom, 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 boom of like like seven different characters' reactions, man. Uh, today in the opening of the episode, I'm very tired. Got extra lines. Just ordering him around now. Oh, it's the white-haired uh, new captain of Kazuma's. Onisama. Oh, Maya! 
These two in the last episode's ending, the special ending, right? She was one of the characters, right? Fujibai, she was one on the left, and I think Saiki was on the right, maybe the other order, but they do have some history yet. Are they friends in the past? Fall victim to? Okay, okay. Sakai? Masterminds behind this plot are the so called anti Great Asian Alliance hardliners. Um, I'm actually very confused because the whole P Dolls steeplechase thing is an experiment led by Kudo to test that out against Onisama, but there's also. A Chinese tea guy with a skeleton dude that invited the, you know those other more Chinese people over, and then there's also the Asian Alliance, the Great Alliance that the Chinese dude represents. But then there's also now this anti-Great Asian Alliance that Aunt Maya is introducing in the form of Colonel Sakai of the JDF General Headquarters. Okay. Bro, I don't even know what a farcical means. Yeah. You don't want only someone to do it? So this is her narrative. To make the hardliners the masterminds when they're not actually the masterminds. And she refers to her as your excellence. Hmm. So basically everyone wins in the end. What now? Kudo それに、それ証拠もありません。あ、サムシルゾーンのアサムシンス。しかしそれこそ言ってもせのオーダーですから。そうです。キャメルメンオイスターツアンマイアスクリヴィジェス。no, we need him to pop off, bro. We've been just doing nothing. So basically, we need Miyuki to be in danger. <laughs> if it ends up affecting Miyuki, I can't very well tell him to hold back. So basically, Miyuki needs to suffer. Only some will pop off for our entertainment and everyone wins. Morisaki, go in! <laughs> More cameraman panning event from the cleavage. <laughs> Not to your boss! To strategic tier magician! And she can't stop him either, right? And that's the episode, man. Oh my god, it was just another fucking yap, 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 yap. But it's important to set up the foundations of what will make this arc so good. I have no doubt that the steeplechase arc will be amazing. It's just... You know, I'm just worried for the casual audience that doesn't really care about, you know, dialogue like this. But basically, what's happening is, you guys know what's happening. Steeplechase, Parasite Dolls, there's different factions involved, but at the end of the day, Kudo wants to test out these Parasite Dolls against Onisama. Apparently, Onisama is the only person that, you know, could be considered a threat by the Parasite Dolls. And even if they have some kind of limiter, we should expect to have some good times. There's many different factions involved right now, right? We have Mr. Chinese Tea Guy. We have fucking the Yotsubas. We have the military. We have us and everyone's involvement. It's going to come to a climax as we get into this arc. I hope Morisaki fucking dies, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.